Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kathleen and I post vegan fashion, lifestyle, and beauty videos. First and foremost, I apologize for not being able to upload as much videos as I can. If you caught my previous video that explains why I'm kind of like MIA, but hopefully once things stabilize, I'll be able to upload videos more frequently. As I was saying, we are going to be doing another handbag review for today, but we are going to be taking a break from Angela Roy and JWP. I think I've pretty much shown you my entire uh, collection of these two brands, and now I'm excited to be sharing with you another handbag that you may not have seen or you haven't seen featured on this channel yet, not because I don't love it, I freaking love this bag. It's just that I'm kind of like reserving this bag during a special occasion, yeah? So I am talking about vegan designer Stella McCartney. However, I didn't purchase this handbag brand new. If you are unfamiliar with The Real Real, it's like an online shop for consignment as well as pre-loved items that you can purchase at 60 up to 70 percent off and that's how i exactly procured this handbag so if you purchase from that website do not expect the original dust bag to come as is yeah so this is how it looks yeah so this is the bag that i lovingly treasure this is called the large tote yeah it's quite heavy I will be posting the specifics of this particular item just to make it clear again so this is the style of the large falabella tote um, original price if you look at neiman marcus usually it retails for over a thousand yeah and i got this for four hundred dollars if i'm not mistaken it's in good condition that's why i am so happy with this purchase i don't really wear or use it as often as i should is because for one i'm kind of like reserving this for special occasions because it looks very dressy to me this one has a faux snake skin vibe to it that's why i got this because the color combination is unique i don't own anything like this yet and second of all stella mccartney is also a brand that I have been eyeing for the longest time and since I could not justify purchasing over a thousand for a bag then I was happy that I found this gem so you can wear this like a shoulder bag and you fold this top or you can just hold your bag like this yeah and with a chain hanging from the side either way i think that it looks really gorgeous there is a button closure and there are no compartments yo it's just a lining there that has a name of stella mccartney all over it and did i receive a card you know and this is the side branding there that says it's made in kidney so i don't really put a lot of my stuff in here because by itself is it it is already heavy plus i don't want to lose the uh, form of this bag if i put a lot of my essentials here it also has a branded logo here yeah kind of matching my nails so overall i really love this bag and and if ever that i would spot another one like this or probably in a different style then i wouldn't mind adding one or two more to my collection am i gonna buy brand new next time i don't think so just because like i said i don't see myself forking over a thousand for a handbag that considering that i do own other handbags as well yeah so i'm the type that i would like to rotate my handbag every now and then but who knows you never say never yeah <laughs> santa claus are you listening to me that's about it there's really nothing more that i can say except that i got this second hand except that i really love stella mccartney and her advocacy on cruelty free fashion and what else that i am happy that i found this bag it's such a great deal in great condition 
tell me in the comment section if you own any of Stella McCartney handbags or any more vegan handbags that you like that I haven't featured yet in my channel. And if so, just let me know. I mean, I would love to really add some more to my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you haven't been subscribed yet to my channel. I hope that you do. It gives me the motivation to actually produce more content when I see that my subscriber count is increasing. But till then, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mahalo!